Hello, and welcome to the online portion of your incident management course. My name is Travis Crine, and I will be your instructor for both the online and in-person portions of this course. We will cover formal introductions during the in-person day, but to get us started, I will tell you that I'm the Regional Coordinator and Program Manager for the Metrolina Healthcare Preparedness Coalition. We facilitate healthcare disaster preparedness, coordination, and collaboration across 13 counties here in the Piedmont of North Carolina. Please take a minute to visit our website at metrolinapreparedness.org to learn a little bit more about our program. I am also proud to be an adjunct instructor here at Central Piedmont Community College. The partnership between the MHPC and CPCC has been an extraordinary accomplishment for the promotion of healthcare disaster preparedness education in our region. We have broken this course into online and classroom to help make it easier on you. This will allow you to work on the online part at your own pace and on your own time. Just make sure you don't wait until the last night before class to get started. The first part of any ICS course is review all of the previous courses. We are going to do a lot of the review here online so that we can focus on new information in class. However, there will be some new information covered here, so don't skip anything. This will also give us more time in class to do activities that will help the information make more sense or stick with you. The online portion of this course is broken into units. Inside each unit, you will find a PDF copy of that portion of the student guide, a lecture to review, and either a short discussion board or quiz. The discussion board or quiz is there so that I can verify you digested the material. Each will be simple and straightforward. The discussion boards will be graded on effort, not on word count. You should also make an effort to reply to at least one other student. The second announcement also contains a short video on navigating this course in Blackboard. We will also take our final exam here on Blackboard. On the last day of the in-person class, I will open up the exam so it can be taken. If you have a laptop you can bring to class, feel free, and I will let you take it during the last portion of the day. However, before we talk about the final exam, we should talk about the first test. Once you have finished figuring out the class layout and how to navigate Blackboard, please go to Unit 1 and take the first test. It is not a test about ICS. Instead, it serves to verify that you have logged in and can be counted as present, that you have met the ICS 100 and 200 prerequisites, and that you will get a certificate if you complete the course. This test also verifies for me that you understand that there is a required in-person day for the successful completion of this course. Now, let's talk about certificates real quick. In North Carolina, FEMA has given the responsibility for ICS credentialing to North Carolina Emergency Management. NCEM operates a website called TERMS, or the Training and Exercise Registration Management System. You should have already registered for this class in TERMS, but if not, you will need to do so now. Another note about TERMS. This is a great resource for free education related to emergency management or healthcare disaster preparedness. Some classes will even cover the cost of your meals, travel, and hotel. Take a look under Course Offerings and select the appropriate month. It will give you the name of the course, dates, and the location. If you click on the course, it will give you more details. Also, once you take a course in TERMS, it starts a transcript for you. That way, if you ever lose your certificate, you can pull up your terms transcript and say, here, I took ICS 300 in April of 2016. You can also go to course history and reprint the certificate. Both the transcript and certificate come in PDF form. Now that we have covered some of the basics, here are your next steps. First, you should return to the announcements section and watch the short video on navigating the course in Blackboard. After that, proceed to Unit 1. 
If you have any questions, my contact information can be found under the My Instructor link on the left-hand side of the page.